such a beautiful morning out there apart from this rain that's just started again and I've got my lovely damp clothes to put back on today which I'm not going to do actually I'm going to see how I do about them because I've got loads of layers so yeah I think I've decided that I'm going to go down low today I'm going to head down to that lovely little lake down there in the forest and have a little adventure around there and make a camp there as well and because I've got less clothes to wear I don't want to go high up um, or come down a bit more sheltered and a bit warmer I had a lovely warm night's sleep in my sleeping bag. I had eight hours actually, really nice sleep. I haven't woken up properly yet, you can probably tell. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have some breakfast and then debate putting my day clothes on. I hate this part, it's, it's horrible when you're so warm in your sleeping bag, it's so cozy. You don't wanna come out of it, especially into that. But um, yeah, I'll be right once I get going, so you'll we'll see what today holds. Oh, nice wet shoes. Oh. Here's this morning. It stopped raining now. Ain't it beautiful? Heading down there today. Yeah. Let's see what we can find. yesterday like had my objective to get up mossy abuzz and I did that and I'm really pleased that I got to do it got to sort of push myself a bit but I do love on the second day when you've got no real plans and you can just sort of bumble around doing whatever takes your fancy it feels like freedom all of it just looking about and I think I'm gonna head up there see that rise there with the fir trees on and then I might have nice views yeah look over there of snowy mountains Let's see if I can get up there first just bogs everywhere here hmm I love trekking poles. <laughs> Which way? I think this way is a little bit more solid looking. Look at that. Just been up there yesterday. And now heading up here. I'm back on this kind of ground which is the absolute worst it's that sort of tussocky lumpy nest that you can't see what you're walking on or if you're going to disappear into a hole all right stopping on this rock for a bit of lunch look at that view guys had a nice bit of lunch i feel like the weather's coming in now so i'm gonna get going it is horrible to rain up here which i don't mind but i have to be up early tomorrow in the dark because i've got a four hour drive home to do the school run to pick up my george so i don't want to do this in the dark so i'm gonna head back down and see if i can find somewhere else to pitch because it's two o'clock and it's gonna get dark uh, probably about half four or five i'm not sure exactly but not long so let's get on Nice. 
nice. Pretty. Look at this. Oh, I love it. Maybe I can camp around here somewhere. I wonder if I can get over it. Because I need to be on the other side of it, really. I wonder what are the chances I can cross this fallen tree without falling in. I think I can do it. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> Shuffle across. I found a lovely place to pitch on this sort of rocky outcrop. Let's hope I don't go sleepwalking in the night. But I've got amazing views of the river. I think that's Afon Lugwi or something. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? I love it. Let's get set up for the night. <laughs> I've ended up doing a nice little circular in the end which wasn't my original plan at all but that really doesn't matter because I've absolutely loved it. I've really pushed myself. I feel like I've achieved something. I've had new experiences and again I've sort of proved to myself what I'm capable of and that's always a good thing. And a lot of these kind of trips are about making decisions really. You just gotta keep making decisions and keep moving and sort of see where the terrain and the weather takes you and I love that actually I think there's something really organic about having a trip in that way it's funny because I debated not doing this trip when I looked at the weather last week and through the week it just forecast continuously it kept getting worse and worse and worse and I just thought I don't know if I want to do that and you could probably tell from the intro of the previous episode that I was really nervous I wasn't sure that I was gonna enjoy myself first of all and secondly I wasn't sure that I would be okay because it's the first time that I'd ever put myself in those kind of conditions for a long period of time and like not going home at the end of it but not only did I achieve my goal I was absolutely fine and today has just been beautiful as well so I've had my sort of hard pushing myself day getting up the mountain and the crazy weather and a bit more of a nice chill day today so it's been absolutely perfect i'm gonna get settled for bed now i guess because i've got a nice early start in the morning so i just want to say thank you so much for coming along on this little trip with me it's been the first time in a little while that i've had the time to come out on one of these sort of multi-day trips so yeah i really appreciate you guys watching and uh, i love to share them with you so sleep tight and i'll see you again soon bye Oh